Earlier, we showed you a basic overview of the main window in Final Cut Pro. Let's look a little bit deeper into the interface and how it operates. First of all, how can you tell a window is active? One of the biggest challenges to a new user in Final Cut Pro is knowing which is your active window. It's actually pretty simple. If you look at the title bar, you'll see that there's a light gray background with dark gray text. This indicates the active window in Final Cut Pro. As we move around the interface, you notice where it says Viewer, it's actually kind of a dark gray background and light gray text. The contrast is not that great, and I know that this is not an active window. To make a window active, simply click on it, and you can click anywhere in a window to make it active. So let's go over to the canvas. I'm clicking right in the middle. We can go down to the timeline and click the timeline anywhere to make that active, and once again, go back to the browser. To open or close a window in Final Cut Pro, notice that there are three circles in the left corner of each window. The button on the far left of each window allows you to close that window. If the window is closed and you need to reopen it, you can use a keyboard shortcut, and there's a keyboard shortcut of Command 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to hit Command 1 to bring back our viewer window. And remember, think of it as a clock. Command 1 is for the viewer, Command 2 is for the canvas, Command 3 is for the timeline, and Command 4 is for the browser. Now this keyboard shortcut is also useful for selecting a window. For instance, if I wanted to select the canvas window, all I have to do is hit Command 2, and now the canvas window is active. If I hit Command 2 again while the window is active, it actually hides that window. And if I hit it a third time, Command 2, it brings that window back. So using the same analogy, let's take a look at working with the timeline. Command 3 will select it. Command 3 again will hide it. Command 3 again will now make the window reappear. So it's very easy to select, hide, or reopen a window using Command 1, 2, 3, and 4. The second circle in our window allows us to minimize a clip. So if I click this in the viewer, it will minimize the viewer and place it into the dock. To get it back out of the dock, the easiest thing to do is go back to our keyboard shortcuts, and what is it, 12 o'clock? Command 1 will now reopen that window. The third circle here is our resize window. So for instance, let's go over and select the browser window, and we're going to click that third circle, and you'll notice that suddenly our browser is no longer confined to the left-hand corner. It actually utilizes the bulk of our screen space. And this is nice because if I wanted to see more detail in any of my windows, I can simply click on that third dot and resize it. Now if I wanted to reset my windows, I can simply go to Window, Arrange, Standard. The keyboard shortcut here is Control-U. The next thing you may want to do is actually move a window around. And to move a window, you need to grab it by its name, and you can simply slide it anywhere around your desktop. And this is really useful if, for instance, I have a document in the background I want to copy something from, or even if I want to drag media in to import it to my browser. Once again, I've messed up my windows. I'll go back to the keyboard shortcut of Control, U. Finally, you'll notice as you move your mouse between windows, its icon changes from an arrow to two vertical lines. If you click and drag, you see you can actually manipulate the size of the windows and how they relate to each other. So if I'm working in an environment where I need to see more of my browser and don't need as much space in my timeline, I can simply click on the edge and drag it down, giving me much more real estate here. And once again, to reset your windows, simply go back, Window, Arrange, Standard. Now you can control your windows in Final Cut Pro instead of letting them control you.